Hi, this is Jessica with Jessica's Apothecary. Let's talk today about the skin microbiome, especially as it relates to dermatitis and eczema on the face. The word microbiome translates to a large community of small life. Your skin microbiome is an ecosystem of mostly bacteria, but also some fungi and viruses. When the skin barrier gets disrupted, either by psychological stress, environmental stressors, or a genetic predisposition, the skin microbiome loses its balance. During winter in particular, many people start experiencing the most common type of eczema, atopic dermatitis. What's actually happening is the Staphylococcus aureus starts to outnumber the healthy antimicrobial strains of Staph. That leads to more barrier dysfunction, inflammation, red, dry, itchy skin, and then the problem gets exacerbated. The good news is when we focus on skin barrier repair, we give the healthy antimicrobial strains of staph a chance to put Staphylococcus aureus in its place. So how do we go about repairing the skin barrier? First of all, if you start to experience any itching, flaking, um, or irritation in the skin, discontinue all retinoids and exfoliants immediately. Strip your routine down to simple nourishing products only. The most simple routine to help with the balance of your microbiome are these two Eminence Organics products that I feature in my Nourishing Microbiome Collection. The first product is the Coconut Milk Cleanser. Coconut oil contains monolaurin, which is a component that helps dissolve the fatty layer around the bacteria that is linked to eczema and dermatitis. And next is the Camellia Glow Solid Face Oil. Camellia Glow is high in omega-9, which is highly transdermal, and rich in antioxidants that helps fight inflammation. If you use both products morning and night, you should start to get relief in a couple of days. However, I wouldn't stop there. I would apply the Calm Skin Chamomile Moisturizer on top of the Camellia Glow Solid Face Oil during the day, and the Rose Hip and Lemongrass Repair Balm at night. That way you're giving your skin the optimal skin barrier protection so that the healthy bacteria in your skin can help create the right balance to uh, restore the skin barrier to health. One more thing to consider in your environment is to make sure you're not using any synthetic fragrances, especially in your laundry detergent. You can still get facials, but your esthetician will avoid exfoliation in any areas that have dermatitis or eczema. If you choose to use the prescription from your dermatologist, which would likely be a steroid, that is fine and we will be happy to support the process with these nourishing botanical products to restore your skin barrier at the same time. If you have any questions at all, reach out to me. Thank you.